today we are celebrating our fathers, stepfathers, father-in-laws, godfathers, grandfathers and other important father figures in our lives. So, how did Father's Day come about? In the UK, Mother's Day is a traditional Christian holiday known as Mothering Sunday. However, Father's Day has no religious connotations and is a lot more modern. It also took longer to become established. The UK actually followed the United States in celebrating Father's Day. When the day was set for the third Sunday in June, the Brits quickly followed suit. The history of Father's Day in America, and consequently the UK, has several different origins. The first ever Father's Day happened in 1908, when a West Virginian church held a special sermon honouring fathers after 362 men were killed in a mining accident in West Virginia. Parishioners gave out flowers, both red and white, to honour the living and the dead, to commemorate all that our fathers do for us. In 1909, Sonora Smart Dodd was credited as the founder of Father's Day. She held her father in high esteem. He was a Civil War veteran who raised six children on his own after his wife died in childbirth. In Spokane, Washington in 1910, Spokane, Spokane, Spokane thank you. The YMCA in Spokane, in Spokane, no, I said that wrong. Spokane. Spokane, Washington. The YMCA in Spokane, Washington uh, uh, recruited, oh shoot, I, I've got a bit of a thing about saying it now because it's not natural, is it Spokane? Okay, Spokane. It's not natural. <laughs> in 1910, the YMCA in Spokane, Washington, in 1910, the YMCA in Spokane, Washington, recruited several clergymen with the help of Sonara Smart Dodds to... <laughs> <laughs> Sonora and Smart Dogs. <laughs> You're getting confused with the Sonoran dog taste. I, I know. I know, later. I know. Check out that video next. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> recruited several clergymen with the help of Sonora Dodd Smart. <laughs> With the help of Sonora Dodd Smart. No, flip! Sonoran. No, Sonora. I've got the Sonoran hot dog. Yeah, not Sonoran dog. Oh, God. Sonora Smart Dodd. Okay. In 1910, the YMCA in Spokane, Washington, recruited several clergymen with the help of Sonora Smart Dodds to actually celebrate fathers in the city and the surrounding area, probably. Was it the city? Yeah, that's Oh, right, we'll just cut the last bit then. I no, think we've yeah, nailed well, it. Yeah. Have I finished? I think so. Okay. I think we'll roll with that. Okay. She wanted Father's Day to be on June 5th, which was her own father's birthday. However, it was changed to June 19th, or the third Sunday in June, because the clergyman wanted extra time to prepare. Father's Day slowly spread to different states. However, it was never really as popular as Mother's Day. However, things changed during World War II, where it was seen as a means of celebrating the troops out in the field. By the time the war was over, Father's Day was a national institution. Richard Nixon finally declared Father's Day a national holiday in 1972, when he signed it into law in the middle of his re-election campaign. The UK by this stage was already celebrating Father's Day. But what to get that special father figure in your life? Stuck for ideas? Well, the Brick Girls have a few suggestions. How about this dad joke button? Push the dad joke button for an hilariously funny dad joke. How did the piglet wake his papa up on Father's Day? <coughs> Wait for it. With hogs and kisses. Over 50 dad jokes to make the entire family lol. <laughs> I don't think you need it with your dad, do you? No! How about this handy toilet timer, as seen on ABC's Shark Tank? This gift sends a clear message to the recipient. To Ryan from Layla and Lily, the dog father t-shirt. We'd love to celebrate the fathers and father figures in our lives. We hope everyone out there has a wonderful Father's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.